thanks for joining us today. We are going to be making a spring banner for you to be able to hang in your home along some tables, some archways, or even across some windows. We're going to use materials that you may already have. So I hope this project inspires you to create with me. Have fun. Welcome. I hope that you'll be inspired to create today. We're going to be making this fun spring banner using some templates of bunnies and carrots and also using some materials you probably have at home, like a lunch bag. Or if you don't have a lunch bag, you can also use a grocery bag or even some fun scrapbook papers that we have over here, or even wrapping paper. This is a project that you can modify with the supplies that you have at home. Um, along with our lunch bags, we're going to be using some fun green pipe cleaners and those will be for the tops of the green carrots, just to give us some fun character. And also you can see that our carrots have some orange color to them, and we did that using some simple materials, like an orange Sharpie marker. Or you can also use an orange crayon, or an orange color pencil, or if you're daring, even paint. So along with those materials, we're also going to be adding some white to our bunny rabbits, and that comes at the tail. For our tail, we used some pom-poms, which are really fun, fluffy, white little creatures. Um, but you could also use cotton balls, or also on the template, you can use white paper and cut out a circle and make that your, your bunny tail too. And you can see that we used string to string our banner. And for that, we used some, some thin string here, but then we double it up to make it more of a thicker consistency. But you can also use yarn, or raffia, or even ribbon, whatever you might have at home. All right, should we get started? Let's start talking about it. So first of all, you wanna to go to our website, uh, Marathon County Public Library, and you can download templates. So this is the template of the bunny and of the tail, if you wanna use paper for your tail. And this is a template for the carrot and some greens if you happen to not have any pipe cleaners, you can also use green construction paper and use this as a trace for that. So once you've downloaded your templates, you want to cut, cut them out. So these are the templates cut out, and then we're going to use these as ways to trace and form our bunny shapes. Alright, now that you have your templates, let's grab some lunch bags. So, for the lunch bag, we'll notice that there's a bottom and there's a top. And we actually want to avoid the bottom. So face your bag this way, and then take your bunny rabbit and put it towards the top. And then take a simple pencil and start to trace. After you've traced your bunny rabbit, you'll be able to cut it out. And if it all works correctly, you'll actually have two bunny rabbits instead of one. That'll help you save time to make this fun project for your home. All right, this one is traced on. So, you wanna take a pair of scissors and then start to cut it out. I like to start at the top with the ears and keep going. And look, we have two bunnies. You will have to just gently take apart where the bag was glued together, but that usually comes apart quite easily. Alright, so we have one bunny, and we have two bunnies. Alright, so that was a great success. Now, take another lunch bag, and again, you want to have the bottom at the bottom and use your template the trace at the top of your bag. So for your carrot, we can actually get four carrots instead of two. So we're going to trace this one here. And then we're just gonna turn around and trace it on this side. Okay, 
so we have two traced. And then you can just start to cut it out. characters cut out, we're going to start to hole punch them. So let's go ahead and do some hole punching. As you can see in our rabbit, the hole punches are just below its neck on either side, and the carrots are also kind of the same height. So that's what we'll want to do. Here's a cute bunny rabbit that I already have. So the holes are kind of just a little bit in on the right and the left. And once you make your first hole punched bunny, use this one as your template to make all the other holes in your rabbits so that you have the same height for your string to be threaded. So line up your little rabbit, take your hole punch, see where your hole is, and Line it up and punch. Alright, there's your hole punch for that. And then for our carrot, we also put it down a little. Line it up. Okay. So we're going to want to hole punch there and there. So line them up. In, and then we'll start talking about stringing. All right, now that you have all of your hole punches in, we're going to be talking about string. And like I talked about earlier, you can have many different options for the string that you use for your banner. You could use a twine like we did, or you could use some raffia, some fun, it's almost like straw, or you can use some yarn, or even some fun ribbons. Maybe you have some fun ribbon colors at home too, you can use. Um, today, though, we are going to be using this twine. And as you can see, it's kind of thin. It's pretty thin. So what I did is I cut my length and we doubled it up. And that makes it kind of cute. It gives kind of a cute accent. So why don't we talk about the length of your banner? It all depends on where you want to hang your banner. For us, we wanted to hang ours along this table. So I cut my yarns, my twine string, to be I measured out to be the first, I measured arm string out to be the length of the table, and then I doubled that. So depending on where you want to hang your banner at home, you need to measure out that space first. If you want to hang it on a table, or in an archway, or even some windows, take some measurements, and then cut your length. And also the length of your banner will, will also ultimately decide how many bunny rabbits you need, and how many carrots. You can see on our banner, I did the carrots and the bunnies every other. So you want to be able to measure out and know how many creatures you need to create too. All right, so why don't we take a length of this twine and we'll make it the length of our table again. So, and you always want to have about this much extra on your banner so that you can use it to hang your banner um, or even tape your banner like we did today. So I'll put that to hang over and then we'll string it out. Over there. Okay, so I think that is one table. So then I'm going to do this again so I can double up the twine just like I did for the first example. I'm just going to add a little bit extra and then I'm going to cut this off from the spool and I'm going to tie a knot at both ends so that it's kind of easier to grab and know where your ends are on your string. So we have to spin knot there and then I'm going to do the same on this side. This will help for when you go to actually string your bunnies and your carrots. 
All right, so we have a hole there, not there too. Okay, so let's talk about coloring our carrot too. We used a marker to color ours. So why don't I go ahead and just do that? Or you can also have your carrot just be the brown of the paper too. But to color it, you just want to follow the shape. And you can color it in any way that you want. You could even make your carrots blue or green or pink or purple, whatever color. Now that your carrot is colored in and hole punched, we're gonna talk about the other accessories that go on the little characters. So on the bunny rabbits, we have tails to put on. And like I said earlier, you could use a pom-pom or you could use a cotton ball or you can also cut out a round circle of paper and use that as well. And then for the carrots, we're going to use some fun pipe cleaners. And these ones have some really fun uh, fuzz on them that kind of looks like a plant, which is fun. So we're going to use some of these for our carrots. All right, so to glue on your tail, you can use a tacky glue or you could even use an Elmer's glue. I would recommend the Elmer's glue more so for the paper tail and the tacky glue more so for the fluffy cotton tail. Okay, let's try and get some glue on. So you just wanna take a glue bottle and put on a good dot and then put on your fluffy tail and maybe just hold the tail on for a little bit just to get some good um, adhesion going on and then you can just set it aside and so for the cotton tail made out of the paper we'll use Elmer's glue and for that again you just want to take your glue and you're able to get out a good amount able to put down your white tail and you can press it down and it should stay okay now let's talk about our carrot tops so for the carrot tops you'll see that in the example there are three greens the center one is the tallest and the right and the left are just a little bit shorter than that center one so we're gonna follow that while we do our creation today too. All right, so we're going to take our carrot and first of all, just put this guy behind and see how it looks. Okay. So if I cut the carrot top off right there, this is what will come out on the left. And if I follow it and do the same on the other side, that's what will come out on the right. And then in the center, we'll have a longer one. So we'll have it maybe start, maybe start there and we'll cut it off up here. All right, let's do some cuts. center one which is the longest and then we have our side ones they're just a little shorter and they're all kind of close together okay then we're going to kind of take this away and kind of put them all together as a group and then we're going to take some tape and we're going to tape them together as a group 
Okay, so just overlap a little bit. Do a quick tape. See how that looks. Good. All right. Then flip it around and lay your carrot on top. And then we'll look and see. How does the carrot look? If we like how it looks, and I think it looks cute, then you just want to add some more tape on the back to keep it fully secure. We're going to start with a rabbit, we're going to end with one, and we'll have one in the middle. But like I said, it depends on the length of where you want to actually hang your banner. So that depends on how many rabbits and carrots you need to make. Alright, let's start to string. So, you want to go in. And actually, we're going to string all the way through, kind of towards the end. So this is our end, and like I talked about earlier, you want to keep at least that month amount of length as the ability to tie your banner or to tape your banner. So you want to have your rabbit start maybe this length away from that end tie. So we have one string in, and then you want to go back to your end, and then we'll run it through the second hole. It's kind of a bit tricky to keep your string untangled, but just go slow, and it will go through. You also want to be careful not to rip your paper because it is just a lunch bag. Alright, we have that strung. And then you want to go to a carrot. So on the carrots of the banner, you can see the string of the rabbit, but you can't really see the string on the carrot. So that's a different way of putting your thread through. So again, you want to take your end. And so since we don't want to see the string, we are going to go into the hole from the front to the back. And then you'll want to pull all of your yarn again, or all of your twine again. Okay. And then just like before, you want to have a good distance between your bunny and your carrot. So maybe about this length would be a good length to have. And then you want to take your string and come back, st string through from the back to the front. So you can see we don't have the string showing up here like we did for the bunny rabbit. That's why you want to use this technique when you string through. through our string. So you're probably going to have more characters to string than are than we have today. So go ahead and finish up those. 
and then come on back and we'll talk about how to put the bows on. All right, so congratulations on stringing all of your characters. That was the fun part. Now we get to tie on a bow. So as you can see on the example, our little bunny, he has a bow, all of them do, and it kind of gives them an extra accent. And also, it also serves as a way to keep the bunny positioned on this length of your, your garland, because otherwise your bunny might fall and then we'll lose your fun spacing that you put in between your characters. Okay, so I'm gonna start, start with our middle bunny here. And I have cut off a length of our twine and I'll give this measurement in the directions that you can download online. So with this length, it's gonna be actually my template for all of my bunnies. So today I have three bunnies, so I'm gonna make three bows. So count how many bunnies that you have and use your length as your template too. All right, so I am just gonna cut off two more. So I just tug it down and make sure it's the same length. Then I'll cut it off. And then I'll set that aside. And then I'll just do one more. It's like three bunnies. Draw it out. Cut the sides. All right. So we have our three pieces. So start with your twine and then just simply lace it underneath, just lace it underneath that center. So it's laced. And then we want to tie our bow in the center. So take your twine up, make sure that the ends meet, form a simple knot. Just put your one piece under and put a knot. And then you want to have the knot fully come together in the center of your twine. See how it's arc came together in the center? So there's a similar space on either side. So that one knot is done. And then you're just going to loop it like you're going to be tying a shoelace. So you just loop it around and then around that big loop and you push that left side through and you pull out that loop and you pull it together. Bring your yarn back down, your twine back down, and then make your loops tight. So kind of grab both of the loops in the center and then pull, and you have a tight little bow for your bunny. Okay. Now we have all of our bunnies have their little bows. So that was the last step on making your banner. Okay, hope that you were able to make the project. And the next time that you're in the library and able to check out, there's some also really fun books about paper projects too. There's some for kids, for adults, for tweens, for teens, um, something for all ages. Uh, I want to point out three books today. So this one, is paper crafts and it has ideas ranging from um, things for your tables, things to give away, things as gifts, really fun ideas. This one has more than 50 amazing crafts in it. It is the Jumbo Paper Craft Book and it has some really fun ideas too that anyone can make and like you can make for yourself as a gift, something to highlight your home. And then the last one is Now I Can Paper Craft. It has 20 handcraft ideas in it by Tansy Wilson. And some of these are really fun and cute. Uh, there's especially the owl one or the lanterns. Um, so there's a lot of different things that you can make using materials you probably already have at home. All right. Well, again, thank you for joining us today. And send us a picture if you've made it. We'd love to post it on social media. Um, and look forward to some more opportunities soon.